and a plate for your camera device or video camera, whatever it is that you use for it. One of the things that I like about this is that it has a tightening mechanism that allows you, once it's in place, to actually wrench it tighter into place so you're not as worried about it falling. The other thing that I've liked about these, if you can see this right here, this is basically a level. So it helps you determine if your camera's level, light's level, for whatever reason, you might need that to be. The other thing that's pretty cool about these is the flexibility of the legs. And pretty quick, just hit these little buttons on the side. You can put this thing in almost any angle, you know, depending on the height that you want to set it at. And also as well as how far the legs are extended. But anyway, like I said, I got this primarily to attach the Alien B ring light to. And I'll show you pretty much how that'll be set up and that'll be the next thing that we'll go into. And here's your ring light, your modeling light. Now, what else comes with this unit? I mean, as you know, guys, I'm not a big fan of unboxing videos. <laughs> so, I try to set this up as quick as possible, get right to the point. There is an outer filter that basically fits in place like that on the outside, sorry, on the inside of the light, and then your outer reflector pretty much just locks in place. Then we just have a little slight turn. Now, the rear of the light. I'm going to zoom in on that. You see the uh, switch. Basically, what this switch does is it locks whatever you attach to the ring in place. So now it's in the unlock position. To lock it in place, you would basically just turn it to the lock position, and that would lock everything in place. And that's the Alien D. 800 ring light. Okay guys, I want to show you this real quick. This is the bracket that the Alien B um, tray fits into. The front area here is where the light fits into and you'll see that once I um, attach it to the ring. Also, you have a, a light stand mount that's already built in here. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to turn this down and pretty much get that out of the way. So now that's locked out of the way, I'm going to be attaching the plate for the tripod right here. So let's get to that. Okay, I'd already pre-assembled the ring light due to the fact that the moon unit, which you see affixed here, which is basically a soft box, is a pain in the butt to put together. I will do a video later showing how to put one of these together. But the instructions are not as clear as you would think they are. Okay, that's basically it. That would block your unit in place. As you see, now you have flexibility all the way down, up, side, however you want to use it as you're zooming or panning with your camera.
provided with the small little tray that basically attaches from the small screw here underneath. You would need a um, screwdriver to put that on. Then once it's in, you want to make sure that you leave enough room that you still have access to your rings as close as possible. And you basically lock that in place and it's secure. Now, just like most Alien V lights, these have a slave trigger as well as a direct connect. Now you can use any of the you can use the Alien V provided uh, wireless triggers. You can use um, the eBay triggers. You can use triggering off of another light. So it just depends on what you want to use. Now the small cable that came with this, I'll show you what that looks like real quick. Okay, now if you've seen the difference, you know the standard cable, which is about this long, which is about 18 feet or something like that. The one that's provided for this light. Is only a few inches and that's to go from the sync cord connection of the camera directly to the back of the unit connect to the sink I'm going to try to position this where you guys can see. Raise your hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up.